Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your skin in Minecraft 1.17. We're going over every single step of changing your skin from downloading a new skin to installing a new skin to setting it all up. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though, we do have this from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So go and check out Apex the first link down below to get your server up and running. Now let's go ahead, we're jumping on into it. I'm not going to make this video too long we're just changing skins here the first part of that though is finding a new skin now in the description down below there are two links the first is to here and this is the skin decks where you can actually get a new skin you know there's tons of basically you're going skin shopping which one do you want and you can download it there's also however this one which is our video on how to make your own skin it's using skin Dex's skin creator but we walk you through how to use it as you can see it's helped over 800,000 people now it blows my mind and uh, yeah overall great video and if you want to make your own skin this is perfect for you however we're going to be downloading one in this particular video here now, as you can see, there are tons of different skins for you to choose from, and it really doesn't matter which one you go with, right? There are tons of options. We're going to go, though, with Steve Elegant, which is going to be just Steve in a suit. That's what we're going to be installing today. Things kind of cool, and that's the one we're going to be going with, uh, because why not, honestly? So once you're here, though, you want to make sure you're click clicking the correct download button, and that is one of my only gripes with skin decks. Ads do like to throw download buttons in them on sites like this, and what we want to do is not click on any download button but the gray one over here on the right-hand side. See that gray download button? It could really slip out of your view if you're not paying attention, so make sure you do see it over there. Click that gray download button, and then we click that. It's going to download automatically. You may need to save the file, and as long as it's a PNG.png file, as you can see down here in the bottom left, you are safe. You're good to go. Um, same thing goes on the Firefox. I'm have to save it. Go ahead and save it as long as it's got PNG there. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here we are on our desktop. We do have the Minecraft launcher here. Now, one of the coolest things about the Minecraft launcher is it was updated a while back to allow you to change your skin right here in the Minecraft launcher and save skins in the Minecraft launcher. So we go over here to the skins button. Again, we're just in the default Minecraft launcher here. Nothing fancy about it. It's just, it's just the normal Minecraft launcher that you've been used to launching Minecraft out of for Minecraft Java Edition. Once you're here, though, click on the skins tab right here. And as you can see, I have a uh, bunch of of different skins. However, if we want to play any of these old skins I've installed, I can just click on them, right? I can just click, it's going to change them and it's going to be good to go. You can click on use. So feel free to basically create your own skin library here if you would like. However, to add a new skin, if you don't have any here or if you do and you want to refresh it with this video, click on the plus new skin button here. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name this Suit Steve because uh, it's Steve in a suit. Then you want to choose your player model. Traditionally, this would be the classic Steve skin or Alex skin. So Alex is slim, Steve is classic, and that's kind of that. For the skin file, though, we go ahead and click Browse, and then we want to select it here. For me, it's on my desktop. It may be in your Downloads folder. Let me show you how to get that, but for once it's on your desktop, you can double-click it here. But in your Downloads folder, if you're going to find it, you're going to click on the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon to the top or bottom left, and then type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder, and in here, you will find your skin, drag it to your desktop for ease of use. But again, to select it, click on Browse here, and then select it from your desktop, which you can click on over here on the left-hand side, and then click on Desktop. So yeah, and you can do Skin or Slim or Classic, whichever one you want. Again, that's Steve or Alex, but that is up to you. This is built for Steve, so we're going to be doing the Classic Skin there. Then you want to click Save and Use in the bottom right, and then it's going to go ahead and save it over here. Now again, you can switch between. If I want to switch to my normal skin, I can do that. If I want to switch back to Suit Steve, I can do that. Oh, and it actually does say Unavailable. Sometimes that'll happen, and you can restart the Minecraft Launcher, and it will fix that. And if it doesn't, then you can just reinstall the skin. That is one of the things. I would say don't rely on the uh, the skins too much here because sometimes they can cause issues but as you can see restarting did fix that so let's go ahead and really quickly we will play minecraft 1.17 we'll jump on play at the best minecraft server in the multiverse show you this skin is in fact changed and then i'm going to jump back and i'm going to switch into my normal skin just to show you how easy it is to switch between these two and how quickly you can do it kind of hopping around from a server back so forth right you can do that very, very simply, very, very easily, and uh, yeah, overall, it's a super simple process. Also, it's kind of weird when you open up a skin and like an image editor because uh, it, it, it looks it looks very, very odd to say the least. I mean, look at that; it's like that that does not look like a normal Minecraft skin. Can we zoom in on this? There we go. Yeah, let's let's zoom all the way in on. Look at that. This does not look like. That's not what you would think it would look like. It looks weird. But nevertheless, here we are. Minecraft's now open. We click on multiplayer. And like I said, jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play our breakdowncraft.com. Once we're online here, we're going to be able to hit F3 and swing on around. I think it's F. Is it F3 or is it F5? Let's see. Um, F5, right? 
Oh, I'm in V. So I have to do slash V, and there we go. There is my skin looking good, updated, all of that stuff, right? Boom, boom, looking good. Now, I don't like that skin, though. I have a skin. I have my go-to NYX game skin that I've used for longer than I would like to admit since, like, 2018. Uh, and, and even truly before that, I was just tweaked barely in 2018. I want to change back to that. So to do that, you would just disconnect from the server. You do have to close out of Minecraft. That is one thing I want to mention. You do have to close out of Minecraft in order for this to work and for you to change your skin. Open up the Minecraft launcher. Again, we want to go back to the skins tab here. And then we want to go ahead and find the skin we want. And we could add a new skin if we wanted to. We could add a new skin, put a name, you know, browse, add the skin, all of that stuff. Or if you have a skin saved over here that you want to use, go ahead and click on use. And it's going to go ahead and select that skin right like so. By the way, you can preview skins here as well. Before you jump in game, you want to see how they look like. It adds them. You can spin around, see what they look like here. As you can see, this one looks like me like what you might have seen me on live streams, for example. Then we want to go ahead and click the play button here and then click play again. And it's going to open up Minecraft and we'll have the new skin. Now, one thing I do want to mention is if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. We are trying to get, uh, I think it'd be cool to get a million subscribers on this channel. I don't know if it's going to happen. It might be years away, but your subscription now does help us do that. So thank you very, very much in advance for doing that. I also do apologize for any lag while launching Minecraft here or in the past while launching Minecraft. Um, we have a new computer on the way, but it's not here quite yet. So that is kind of that. Nevertheless, once you're here though, we want to click on multiplayer again, jump into play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the, in the multiverse, Skyblock, Survival. You're going to love it. You should come play this on Breakdowncraft. Now again, I need to un-V and then Oh, excuse me, on V, and now we go ahead and hit F5, we will see here I am in my normal skin. Isn't that so easy? That is so simple and easy to change. I absolutely love it, and uh, overall, absolutely incredible. I'm currently on one of our test Skyblock servers, but we do have Aquatic Survival, you're going to have amazing community over there. We have Medieval Survival with this custom quest, all of that stuff, and then we do have our other Skyblock as well, which is really, really cool, 100% custom. So come play with us, playdarkbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. And should you want to make your own Minecraft skin, we do again have that link in the description down below. This is our in-depth video on making your own Minecraft skin. It kind of goes over every single part of that. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.